The new Anime Fighters JoJo Steel Ball Run update is out. So let's go spin some new divine and secret passives and check out the passive transfer machine. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Hey yo, what up? F minus Gliz Gang Gang back on Anime Fighters, y'all. And I am here excited to tell you that Anime Fighters has updated. And not just that, this is one of the biggest updates that's come out to Anime Fighters. They added a bunch of stuff. And that's what I want to do today, y'all. Let's go check out everything new for the update. So if you haven't checked out the update, well, let's go check it out together. We're already in the newest map. This is the new JoJo. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure map. This is Jojo Steel Ball Run. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like a manga. It's the next part in the Jojo series. They got the new units there. You guys can take a look at the top of the screen. And if you watched my stream, I've already pulled all of the new units. Kind of cool. Remember how I said this is one of the biggest updates? They added so much to this update log. You already can see it here. Look at that. There's so much there. Update 43, Steel Run has begun. Compete against all the invading competitors. And then there's like a patch here on the right side. There's the update log. Basically, you can just read it down top of the list. 12 new characters. There's a new island. New passive transfer machine. A lot of you guys have been asking that for that for like the longest time. We want to transfer our passives. Now you guys can do it. And it's actually like the best thing ever. I promise you, it is the best thing ever. There's also the new passive token converter machine. A lot of you guys have been asking for that too. You want to convert your regular tokens into Requiem? Well, Caleb added it. Caleb, the head developer of Anime Fighters. There's a new mount. There's a new item, passive transfer tokens. We'll talk about that a little bit later. More importantly though, look at the very bottom of the screen right there. Two new secret passes. I'm going to be showing you that in just a little bit. We also got the new Infinity Tower achievements, new Divine Passes rarity. Yeah, that's right. We got Divine Passes in the game, guys. And look at that. Three new Divine Passes. I will be showcasing those new Divine Passes for the video in just a little bit. And I guess we can go ahead and start with the newest secret unit. I've done this on stream already. This is the new shiny secret. Oh, looks like he's already going out into battle already. Hey, yo, my boy, he got the stand right there. Plus, he got the unit. I'm telling you guys, this update is massive. I can show you guys the base damage. If you haven't pulled it already, you know, we're just checking it out. It's basically Zapelli, Gyro, you guys know who it is. 1.3k base damage, shiny 2.2k. So I was thinking right now, let's take advantage of the update. Let's check out everything that's new. Because in the update log here, I already showed you guys it. We'll look at the right side of the screen. There's more stuff. Infinity Tower floors, health is rebalanced. So basically, if you don't know, Infinity Tower, they made it so much easier. I'm telling you, the enemy HP is like 5. Like, I'm not talking about 5x, 5q, 5z. It's 5 HP. <laughs> I'm not even joking, guys. Go in Infinity Tower right now. It's that easy. Crew Leader Passive is in the Requiem Machine now, so it's really good. The level cap raised to 480 on the right side. Robux Fighters can now be limit broken. Hey, where's my pay to win players at? And the Incubator level cap has been raised to 235. And that's what I'm saying. They added so much stuff in this update. The first thing I want to do is obviously check out the new units. That's what we always do, guys. We already have Zapelli over here, Shiny Secret. But have you guys also seen the craftable units? They do have Funny Valentine in the game. So once again, you guys can go to the index, Funny Valentino. Look at that, 1.8k shiny. Not too bad at all. You guys want to see the shiny version of it as well? Hey, yo, we got Funny Valentine in the game. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your best fighter is from the update. We're just going to max open and then hope we get five shiny mythicals. So let's go see right there. We got two mythicals, not too bad. Here's the next max open. Come on, big money guys, please grab my game. We just got like five right there. Hey yo, hey yo, we have done it yet again, y'all. So this is gonna be the new shiny craftable. We can go ahead and make it funny Valentino. Let's go ahead and craft it. And then you guys can compare it side by side. The regular funny Valentine with protagonist passive. That's crazy. That's what I said. It's way easier to get secret passives in the game. And once again, I will be showing you guys the divine passives a little bit later and then on top of that we have shiny bunny valentine ayo plus we have gyro ayo we got all three new units guys shiny secret perfect if you can't get divine units you can't get gojo just go for the new secret and then pull a new secret passive by the way remember new secret passives as well i have them in my inventory why don't we take a look at it so i think one of the new secret passives is called minor 
and I actually have it on our baby Nezgul right here. So if you guys look at the right side of the screen, we have baby Nezgul, her name is Miner, but look at her passive, it's Miner. This unit has experience in deep caves. One of the new secret passives they added to the game, it gives you like a black aura. Basically what it does is I think it gives you guys an extra drop boost. If you guys wanna pull secret passives in anime fighters, all you gotta do is get a common unit, use some reroll shards, not the tokens, and then pull the secret passive and then clone it. Then that's all you gotta do guys. Passive transfer machine onto your main units. You got a Gojo, Divine, maybe you got a secret unit from this map, or maybe you have like the craftable, Funny Valentine. Funny Valentine's right there guys. All of these units are pretty powerful. They're pretty damn OP. But yeah, that's one of the new passives. We also have another new passive in the game. I think it's called Golden Lucky or something like that. Yo, look at this right here. This is Golden Luck. So this one gives you 0.8 luck in the game. It doesn't give you an aura, but it's still pretty damn good. If you're free to play, you would get this passive, right? Maybe you get lucky enough and then you would clone it and then you get a full team of Golden Lucky. That's how you guys are pulling Divines nowadays. Along with all of this new stuff, we have a brand new code too. Make sure you guys redeem the brand new code. It's gonna be update 44 exclamation point. If you guys redeem this code, it gives you a passive transfer token. So if you have an old passive in the game from an event, you have a passive on a common unit or something, you can now use that tra transfer token, transfer that passive to one of your main units. I'm gonna redeem it right now. Look at the bottom of the screen, passive transfer token. That's how it is, guys. And if you go to my inventory, this is it. This is what you guys wanna try to get in the game if you wanna become a pro. Use these tokens to transfer passives for free. All right, so check it out. We are in the time chamber. Remember, they increased the incubator levels and they increased the level cap in the game. You already know what we're gonna do for the video, guys. Maybe we can max level units. So if you see it right here, the incubator, the level is 235 max. That's if you have the achievements. Without the achievements, 230, right? But that was as of last update. Let's go ahead and upgrade it, 237, 238. Ooh, 238, 239, what? 240, so we have 240. But if you guys also know with the update, they added Infinity Tower achievements. I did this specifically for this video. I didn't claim them so I could show you guys. These are all the Infinity Tower achievements. So this one right here, you see my mouse cursor. This is like 450, Infinity Tower 2, 100, 150, 200. Basically, the higher you go in Infinity Tower, it's you can find it in like the challenge hub area, the more achievements you get. First one, you get backpack space. Backpack space is pretty damn good especially if you're free to play or you're paid to win, you wanna pull more divines faster, there you go. You get more inventory space. Let's go ahead and claim it. We also have another one right here. Look at this, damn. All you gotta do is reach floor 100. You get a 0.75X damage boost. This is pretty good as well. Let's go ahead and claim it. We also have Infinity Tower 3 achievement. Hey, I'm showing you guys everything. I told you, I will show you everything in this entire video. 0.5x time boost. It's not that much, but it's still a free time boost. And then you also have this right here, Infinity Tower 4, 1.5 luck boost. Ayo, now you guys can get extra luck in the game. This is actually really helpful, especially if you're free to play. This is gonna get you guys to like 15, 20 luck. Let's go ahead and claim it. And then probably the most important out of all of them, if you ever wanna max level your units fast, you ever wanna make the leaderboards, you ever wanna have strong fighters in the game, hit the level cap. You want to have incubator max levels and this one's way easier to do than the dungeon one i should be able to get this see about mouse cursor to 243 look at that 243 now that's the max level so like i said before let's take advantage of this little update log here that we got let's go see how fast it is to level up a unit now so all we got to do is take a common unit let's just go for my over here from jujitsu kaisen i'm gonna go ahead and incubator now let's go take a look at it 456 459 oh my god 476 477 478 oh my god no way we're about to hit the level cap there it is we have hit the level cap in anime fighters and it took five seconds and you're probably like oh my god that's so broken f minus that's how you max level units so fast with the new updates watch this i'm about to go even faster i'm gonna get my time team out I'm gonna get my chief made avatar. Oh man, we about to pull up guys. We about to pull up. Maybe I'll use a super EXP boost. I don't know if it works. I'm gonna do another unit, but this time, let's see if we can find something with a genius passive or protagonist. I don't know if that's a thing. 
So we have a couple of units with genius passives. This one right here is 342 and it has a genius three passive. Once again, we're only able to do this because they increase the incubator level cap. We're gonna select it, we're gonna incubate it. Let's see if it's an instant max level all the way to 480. By the way, if you get double protagonist, your max level is 500. Let's go ahead and incubate it. Check it back right here. 458, 479. Oh my God. It's an instant max level. Yo, guys. Guys, I got to tell you, I'm pay to win. I know I'm pay to win, guys. But even if you're free to play, that would still take you like 30 seconds for a max level common. I know it's a common, but like, dude, what if I tried to do it on a divine unit? You see Dragon King right here, Genius 3. Let's go ahead and incubate it, 448, 450, 467, 469. Bro, Arkaido Divine, a divine unit is about to max level, 473, 474. That's the impressive power of the newest update in Anime Fighters. So, now that you have your max level units, that's cool and all, what do you do with them? You're gonna go ahead and use the Passive Transfer Machine and the Passive Converter Machine. Let's go and use the passive converter first. Basically, if you don't know what this does, you take regular rerolls and you can transform them into the Requiem rerolls. You see my mouse cursor right there. You take your Requiem, these little blue tokens, and you transform them into the, the passive transfer tokens. When you have the passive transfer tokens, you guys will be able to take passives from other units and put them on other units. I did this on stream. You guys see my Asta? Remember he had solid gold? Well, now he has a minor passive. Here's another good example. I have Jiren. He has a double slow passive. You are not supposed to have a double slow passive on Jiren. Because one, it's only a passive you can hatch. Two, I mean, you're not supposed to transfer it. But now, <laughs> look at this dude. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. Passive transfer machine is amazing in this game. You can now make different combinations. So if you have event passives like F-, minus, look at this right here. I have double flaming. You can now transfer them to your newer units. It's really cool, it's really nice. Let's go to the transfer machine. I'll show you guys how it works. On the left side, you wanna take a unit that you wanna transfer the passive from. So let's go do it. I have a Baki here. He has a flaming passive. You can no longer get flaming passive. It's one of the better passives in the game. It's not the best passive, but it's a limited time summer passive. It makes your fighter on fire. It's really cool. I'm gonna transfer it to something that normally you shouldn't be able to get it on. So let's say a unit that just came out in the newest updates. And I guess we can go ahead and do it on, I'm thinking like Funny Valentine, if possible. Can we do Funny Valentine? We already have passes on those ones. So the unit I'm gonna do it on is Ringo Rodens right here. Right here, you see this? I'm gonna transfer Flaming Passive from the Summer Event to our Ringo. And all you gotta do is hit token transfer. You can also buy the tokens with Robux. It's up to you guys. If you also wanna get tokens, once again, you can convert Requiem tokens to the passive transfer tokens. You can't get these in Infinity Tower, Dungeon, maybe Caleb will change it, but as of right now, you can't get them. So let's just go ahead and token transfer it. And there you guys go. Now I have the flaming passive on a brand new unit. You would normally not be able to do this, but we have it right here, y'all. We did it on our Ringo right here. Hey, yo, we have flaming passive. And once again, I told y'all the best part about having flaming passive or any limited time passives, they look really cool. This guy is probably like flaming now. Dang! It's a little hard to see. I know F minus plays on lowest graphics, but my man is on fire. So that's part of the update too. You guys can transfer your passives. Ideally, you wanna get a common unit. I showed you earlier, guys. I have a bunch of miners in my inventory. Transfer those secret passives to your main units, like Gojo. Yeah, Gojo, transfer miner, transfer uh, the other secret passive, golden lucky if you really wanted to. I don't know why, but you could. And then you can also transfer the divine passives. Let's go talk about the divine passives now. So if you guys want a divine passive, you want to pull it the fastest, I've shown you guys on stream once again. All you got to do is use world shards. That's the fastest way, the easiest way, the cheapest way. World shards and use the Requiem machine if you guys are rich. If you're broke, make sure you use the normal machine. Mathematically, it is like way better if you use the normal machine versus Requiem machine. But use the Requiem machine if you want to do it faster. And all you gotta do is select a unit right here. So I'm gonna select my, and then you just token reroll. If you guys wanna see the percent chances, the new divine passive is demon, interstellar, 
Angel. We also have Crew Leader, Secret Passive in the machine, Light Speed, God Passive. There's like a lot of Secret Passives. Minor. We have Golden Lucky, Monster, Protagonist. Yeah, there's a lot. Plus, we have all the Mythical Passives. But yeah, those are the three new Divine Passives. Unfortunately, I was not able to get it on this account because this is my main account. I don't have any more rerolls left. However, one of my friends let me borrow his account. All right, as promised, here are the divine passives, guys. I'm on my friend's account. His name is SSS. You guys can see it right there. Blocks Fruity Op. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for letting me use your account. This right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you guys see this? Literally, Gojo is like a light blue aura. Plus, he has like the yellow aura. Oh, my God. That's so cool. And he's level 5. Hundred. You know what's the best part about this? My friend's account has so many units on it. I was thinking like, yo, I'm just gonna take over this account. This is my account now. Like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But shout out to my friend like, dude, we got Toshiro. We got Living Empty. And of course, we have Gojo. That is the Angel Divine Passive. I don't know the other ones, Interstellar, Demon, what they do. But this is Angel. This unit is imbued with Holy Energy. Now, according to O Trademark, he's done a live stream on it. It could change, but apparently Angel gives you like attack speed damage. It gives you boss damage. It gives you a lot of stuff. But the main highlight is I think like damage and attack speed. So it's kind of like blessing, but way better than blessing. You can actually see Gojo right there. Yo, he's moving so fast. Oh my goodness. And if you guys wanted to know, you cannot clone uh, divine passives. You cannot, you can transfer them, but you can't clone them. If you try to clone them, your passive will disappear. So I'm just letting you guys know that. So you're gonna have to reroll divine passives again, but this is the newest divine passive. If you guys want, we can see it in action. I'm gonna turn on the fighter effects. Oh, yo, it's a one tap. Oh my goodness, Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen has crossed over into Jojo, y'all. Gojo to Jojo, ayo, and it's a one tap. Oh my God, it's a one tap. Okay, it's kind of like a one tap. The other enemy right there wasn't a one tap, but it's really fast. That's crazy. This guy is so powerful. He has 31x damage. Once again, level 500, 31x damage. The chance of you getting a divine passive, by the way, I didn't say it earlier. It's one in about 33,000 chance. If you have the passive trait game pass. Otherwise, it's like one in 50,000, maybe one in 60,000. This is using the Requiem machine. If you use the normal machine, I mean, we're talking like one in like 200,000, one in 100,000 chance for getting the Divine Passive. It's a lot. There's Gojo though. He's going to go ahead and get his ability off. Nice. He just took him out. Hey, yo, Gojo popping off. And you know what I just noticed? The uh, Angel Passive, there's no wings, but it makes your character smaller. Because I have another Gojo here with double protagonist. This is normal sized. My avatar right here, SSS, normal sized. Gojo with double angel. He kind of tiny, ain't gonna lie. But you guys can see it in action. It's, oh, it's one hit. So I guess it removes the ultimate, I guess, like hit count. And it's an automatic ultimate. So that's another thing that angel divine passive does. Automatic ultimate, uh, boss damage, attack speed. You also get raw damage, I guess movement speed as well. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff, but that's the divine passive. Let's put it to the test though. We're gonna go to the time chamber, let's check it out. All right, so I don't really have too many expectations, but I mean, if we tried to pop off with this guy, that'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna unequip everything except for our double divine uh, Gojo here. And then let's just start attacking. Craziest part, Gojo's the divine, plus he has two divine passives. We start attacking. I'm going to turn on the DPS counter at the very top of the screen. Keep in mind, this guy is level 500. Highest level cap in the game. You just got to get double protagonist first. And now we're doing a DPS test. Oh my gosh. Literally every single hit. And he gets his ultimate ability off. That is so cool. And you could probably ultimate cancel with that. Maybe. I don't know if it's possible. Just like go ahead and hit. Ultimate cancel hit. Ultimate cancel hit. I don't know if that's effective or whatever. But damn. And look at that DPS. It's like 1W. We see that right there. One W. One W damage per second. Oh my gosh. What the other divine passives do. This is just like what I think old trademark said. Demon will give you like more base damage. 
um, Interstellar will give you guys like light speed. So it gives you guys a time multiplier. Interstellar 1.4x time multiplier or something like that. Plus it gives you like attack speed and it gives you like a really high hit count. It's crazy. So I don't know. It's up to you guys. Whatever kind of divine passive you get. I really hope you guys get the divine passive though. Because look at that damage per second at the very top of the screen. 2.43w with just one unit 2.43 w i don't know what the dps leaderboards are at if you want to make the dps leaderboards take a look at it right there number 50 is 98 w basically if you had a full team of divine passives 500 gojos maybe a higher attack multiplier you get like a damage event or something like that 5x damage i think you guys would be able to hit the leaderboards with these new divine passives definitely try to get those passives guys because they're really damn op hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though really do appreciate your guys support and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video